Hello and welcome to the Eduonics course, Database Design Using MySQL. This course is for both beginners and intermediate developers who wish to learn about the MySQL database as well as structured query language. Here's an outline of the chapters to come. Each chapter has about three to five sections and will include a video and any program files that were created in that chapter. We'll start out with an introduction and we'll talk about what a database is and what people usually mean when they say the word database. We'll talk about MySQL and what it does, uh, what it is, what it can do, and then we'll move on to storage engines and data types. We'll talk about the different kinds of data that you can store in your database. Then we'll set up our environment. I'll show you a couple different installations. We'll install MySQL on Windows, we'll install it on Linux, and finally we'll install XAMPP, which is a combination of Apache, PHP, and MySQL. And that's what we'll be using through the course. We'll also take a quick look at PHP MyAdmin and MySQL Workbench, which are both clients that can interact with our database server. Then we'll move on to planning and design. We'll talk about the fundamental rules and principles about creating a database and, and how your structure should be set up. We'll talk about what normalization is and how to implement it. And then we'll talk about a simple but reliable design process that'll help us create our data structure. And then finally, we'll map out our structure on paper. Once we have our structure mapped out, we'll create our database. We'll create the tables and the columns. Um, we'll talk about how we can back up and restore or import and export a database. Um, we'll talk about relationships and we'll set up our foreign keys from within PHP MyAdmin. And then we'll, connect, we'll create a junction table that we can use for many-to-many -many relationships between tables. So we'll start out with the SQL basics. We'll talk about uh, select, insert, update, delete. And we'll also learn a little bit about the command line and what we can do from that. And finally, we'll talk about al aliases and table joins so we can select data from more than one table. Once we learn the basics, select, insert, update, and delete, we'll move on to more complicated aspects such as union, concat, count, the in clause, so we can search a list for certain values. Uh, we'll talk about the basic math we can perform with SQL queries. Uh, subqueries and also the group by function. Once we learn all the fundamentals, all the basics, uh, all the queries that we can perform, we will create a simple PHP application that will allow us to connect to a database. We will be able to select and display data in the browser and we'll be able to insert and update data through a web form. And we'll also learn how to delete data through the browser. So that's about it. That's a summary of what we'll learn. Uh, like I said, this is for beginners and intermediate developers. We'll talk about some basics and we'll also go into uh, advanced SQL queries.